me christian is right sitting at the uh, right hand hand side of the almighty god he lay he lived a very decent life he was so humble affable loved by all his generosity i mean a lot of people have said a lot about him his christian life oh, was so perfect but this is how he ended his stay on earth he just goes to say one thing that we don't know today he has found his internal life what about you, you and i do you know how we are going to end our exit on earth we don't know so for me i think that we must always be very humble what do you fondly remember of christian at you well there was a day in um, dubai when uh, I was in the midst of uh, the God Angbe boys. I'm referring to boys who speak the Ada and the Krobo language. And I was with him, with Pati, with Atama, with um, Tekpeti, with um, Akam, Jonathan Mensa, and uh, I think one, one other person, I don't remember and uh, I, it was more of speaking the Adan language and the Krobo language and then most of the players didn't know I speak Krobo, I speak Adan and they were like, eh, Chama and they spoke in Adan lo Dan and they were like, nye no lo Gan Adan go in Ojimo lo those were the words and you will see his infectious smile then he started smiling and as for him, I've known, he has known, but a lot of the other guys, most of the other guys didn't know. Because you remember that right from Cheetah, he was also with Fire Nod. And uh, all blacks days, we used to play a couple of matches. Apart from the competitive aspect of it, the friendly matches, Coach Ade will always invite Liber um, uh, all blacks to play Fire Nod. He will invite us to go more fete. And so I saw him right from there. And remember, one of my star players those days was Ishmael Yate, and that was his f best friend. And you know, Yate's brother is He Yate, who is the owner of Chita FC. And so that's the connection where they right from day one. And so it's sad, seriously sad. This is someone, uh, when I had a chance to be appointed as the chairman of the Black Star Management Committee, my, my first assignment was to work with him and he made the best player of the 2015 AFCON. So you can imagine the connection and, 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 and the relationship. It's a sad day for me. You knew him beyond football because um, one of your brothers worked with Christian Achu for like eight years, turned up here as his agent. What does he often tell you about the kind of person Christian Achu was? Uh, there's only one thing I always not forget. Tony will tell me that, hey, George, Achu and he's tight. He doesn't miss. No, say, then I will say, ah, so pounds be breaking now. To me, could you ten percent? Then we will laugh. He say, hey, as for his calculation, he won't miss, and he will make sure that the ten percent is paid per what the Christian faith believe, and this this is so unique for me. I don't think I've been able to do it and I have forfeited several times. I owe God a lot but I know that our star line here paid till the last day. What should we do to remember Christian Achu? What should Ghana football, what should the state do to ensure that the memory of Christian Achu is immortalized? Well, there are a lot, uh, number of things that can be done. I don't want to suggest. I believe that people who are in charge of the FA now, they made the executive council may have planned something, or the, the executive council is planning something. And I know I don't need to take the steam out of the wind. I mean, with, when it comes to the states, I will not stand here to pretend I know more than the president of its excellency. Nana. 
uh, Akufuado, the president. Um, you know he's a football person. He loves football. And so I know, I have no doubt that he will definitely do something in the remembrance of our foreign, foreign hero. I, I, I have no doubt about that. What will get George Afriye excited at the end of the funeral service of Christian Achu? Well, I'm here to pay my last respect. Uh, people in football will definitely come here to pay their last respect. And I hope that I love the decision. In fact, I was consulted by a family member and asked my opinion whether they should bury him in his hometown or Accra. And I said they should bury him in his hometown because a lot of people live in Accra. Ada is just one hour away. It's one of the richest areas we have in Ghana, but a lot of people don't know that. It is in Ada that we have the Volta Lake. We have the sea, we have the Songo Lagoon, and the land is also fertile for a lot of crops. Tomatoes, um, watermelon, mangoes, okra, pepper, and all that. And so I said, let's take advantage. Achu maybe wanted other people to know other part of Ghana, which is Ada. And so for me, I advised, and the family also bought into it. And together with Mr. Soti, the former controller and accountant general, uh, we felt that if this can be done, and government accepted it, the FA accepted it, family accepted it, so he will be laid to rest, and his place will be a museum for a lot of generations to come. Uncle George, thank you very much. We appreciate your time. Um, George Afriye, one man who knows Christian at you very well. But